Hi, this is Emma from Talk To Me English, and I'd like to show you how to use a dictionary in your Woodpecker application. I'm just going to underline the area that I touch on the screen to make it easier for you to follow me. So, if we look at the top left-hand side of the screen, if you click on the menu bar, you'll be able to see the main menu in the application. On the bottom right hand side of the screen you'll see the settings button just touch that and then touch the dictionaries these are the uh, dictionaries that are available within the application i suggest that my students use the english english dictionary this means that when they touch on a word within the application, they'll see the definition in English. It is also possible to choose a dictionary that will translate. And these are the languages that are currently available. Of course, you can download more than one dictionary. And then before the student starts an activity, for example, they could choose whether they would prefer to use a dictionary that will give them the definition in English or that will give them a definition and translation in their native language. Now let's see what the English English Dictionary looks like within the application. So first of all, click on the arrow to go back and back again. Let's choose this video. Okay, so once the video starts playing, just pause that, you can see the transcript appears underneath the video. Let's choose a word by touching it. And you can see that automatically you're able to view a little screen with the definition. If there's more than one definition, you'll see that there too. Let's choose another word. Celebration. Again, the definition appears underneath the screen, or at the bottom of the screen. In order to view the words or expressions that you've chosen to check whilst watching the video, on the top left hand side of the screen, click the arrow to go back. And then return to our main menu. And touch the word history option. And you'll be able to see the words that we touched whilst watching the video. Now if you touch the menu bar on the top right hand side of the screen, you'll see that this little toolbox opens. Now if you touch the circle next to the definition, you can mark the words that if you have purchased the option to export uh, vocabulary, you can then click on the export button and choose to copy to clipboard or to export as a file. Now this could be useful for your student to save the vocabulary and to continue working with it later. 
and it can be very useful for a teacher to be able to create exercises, for example, for your student concerning particular vocabulary before they watch the video. Okay, great. Well, I hope you found that helpful and I'll be making some more tutorial videos concerning how to use the Woodpecker app very soon. Bye for now.